For the right triangle below, find the measure of the angle in degrees to the nearest hundredth. So our goal is to find the measure of this angle here. Let's label this angle theta. And now let's determine the opposite side, the adjacent side, and the hypotenuse in relation to angle theta. So if this is the angle theta, then this side here is the opposite side with an unknown length. The hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle, and therefore the hypotenuse is this side here with length of nine units. And then the adjacent side to angle theta is going to be the side of the angle theta that's not the hypotenuse, and therefore the adjacent side to angle theta is this side here that has a length of eight units. Now because our goal is to find the measure of angle theta, and we're given the length of the adjacent side and the length of the hypotenuse, we will use the cosine function to determine the measure of angle theta, because cosine theta is equal to the ratio of the length of the adjacent side to the length of the hypotenuse. So for our right triangle, we now know that cosine theta is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, which gives us 8 ninths. Now we want to solve this equation for theta by undoing cosine. To do this, we take the arc cosine or inverse cosine of both sides of the equation. Let's take the inverse cosine of both sides. Simplifying on the left, inverse cosine of cosine theta simplifies to just theta because inverse cosine and cosine undo each other. We're left with theta is equal to inverse cosine of 8 ninths. And now we go to the calculator to get a decimal approximation for angle theta in degrees to the nearest hundredth. We begin by making sure the calculator is in degree mode by pressing the mode key. And notice how degree is highlighted. If degree was not highlighted, we would use the arrows to go down to degree and then press enter. And now we go back to the home screen by pressing second mode for quit. And we enter inverse cosine 8 ninths. We press second cosine for inverse cosine and then eight divided by nine, close parenthesis, and enter. Notice how there is a six in the thousandths place value, or a third decimal place, and therefore we round up. Theta is approximately 27.27 degrees. I hope you found this helpful.